China on Thursday denounced a new Indo-Pacific security alliance between the United States, Britain, and Australia, saying such partnerships should not target third countries and warning of an intensified arms race in the region. Under the arrangement, the United States and Britain will provide Australia with the technology and capability to deploy nuclear-powered submarines. France, which loses its own submarine deal with Australia, called the plans brutal and unpredictable. The United States and its allies are looking for ways to push back against China's growing power and influence, particularly its military buildup, pressure on Taiwan and deployments in the contested South China Sea. United States President Joe Biden, British Prime Minister Boris Johnson and Australian Prime Minister Scott Morrison did not mention China by name in the joint announcement and senior Biden administration officials, who briefed reporters ahead of time, said the partnership was not aimed at countering Beijing. But Chinese Foreign Ministry spokesman Zhao Lijian said the three countries were severely damaging regional peace and stability, intensifying an arms race, and damaging international nuclear nonproliferation efforts. Johnson said the pact was not meant to be adversarial and said it would reduce the costs of Britain's next generation of nuclear submarines. The partnership ends Australia's 2016 deal with French shipbuilder Naval Group to build it a new submarine fleet worth $40 billion to replace its more than two decades old Collins submarines, a spokesperson for Morrison told Reuters. France accused Biden of stabbing it in the back and acting like his predecessor Donald Trump. The three leaders stressed Australia would not be fielding nuclear weapons but using nuclear propulsion systems for the vessels to guard against threats. Morrison said Australia would meet all its nuclear nonproliferation obligations. New Zealand Prime Minister Jacinda Ardern welcomed the focus on the Indo-Pacific but said Australia's nuclear-powered submarines would not be allowed in its territorial waters. Singapore said it had long had relations with Australia, Britain and the United States and hoped their grouping would contribute to peace and stability. Japan said the three countries' strengthening of security and defense cooperation was important for peace and security. United States officials said nuclear propulsion would allow the Australian Navy to operate more quietly, for longer periods, and provide deterrence across the Indo-Pacific. Biden said the three governments would launch an 18-month consultation period to determine every element of this program, from workforce, to training requirements, to production timelines and to ensure full compliance with nonproliferation commitments. Among the United States firms that could benefit are General Dynamics Corp. and Huntington Ingalls Industries. United States officials did not give a time frame for when Australia would deploy a nuclear-powered submarine, or how many would be built.